All right. Um, I don't know if I've got the words to contextualize what a massive moment this is. Uh, for anyone who's joining this, uh, just randomly, I'm going to share with you just a quick backstory, and then we're going to be talking with Marek Reichman to run us through uh, why this car is special. But I was honored to be invited to have a hand in designing a special edition Aston Martin DBX. It's been over 12 months in the making. I'll put links in the description below so you can go back over that story. Uh, but it's such a big deal because this is our first tangible physical production car. Um, it seems like we were having this chat yesterday and it's here. Yep. It's unreal. Absolutely. Where do we start in terms of what's special about this? Um, well, the paint, but before that, yep. you'll notice that there is no badge because That's obviously right. we're going to put the badges on uh -huh. and the badges themselves are unique to the car as well. Yes. The, the paint is the place we should start. Um, it's a very, very unique color. Mm -hmm. um, the development of the paint obviously is it's a long process because the paint has to be repeatable but if you could be here <laughs> seeing this in yeah. the sunlight the yeah. way the paint pops the process of the painting the fact that the paint is it's really derived from a Valkyrie paint color uh -huh. and it has such an incredible effect if you're up close to it there's almost a 3d effect to the paint and you see it really pick out the highlights and really go deep in shadow into into the lower tones of the car when you get oh. into a shadowed area so it's a very very special paint one of the reasons and it's funny when you when you look and connect the dots going backwards i was fortunate enough to go on the photo shoot when this car was unveiled at a studio in spain we're going back now almost two years and you had a bright red car and a minotaur green car yeah. which to the untrained eye is almost black it's very yes. yeah. very dark one of the, the most substantial aspects of this car is the sculpture of it and when I saw those two cars side by side, the, the red just accentuated so much of the beautiful yeah. lines and yeah. sculpture and, and contours. When we came to specking this car, I thought, whatever we do, we need something that's going to show basically the work that you and the team have done to make this thing much more of a sculpture than a general SUV is. Yeah, yeah and, and the camera probably won't catch it, but wherever you get obviously an upper surface which is catching the sunlight or the light, yeah. it's really reflecting that light and if you're if you're here you can look at the 3d nature yeah, of the paint yeah. and then you look how deep the shadow is when it comes to a non-lit area uh -huh. and just here you can you can already see the muscularity see of this it's yeah and the, of course the clear coat has part of the tint in it as well so it's yes. got part of the green tint uh -huh. that bluey green tint in the clear coat so it's really reflecting the the light and and as you say it's accentuating the sculpture on the body it's really really ex accentuating that so yeah. what's great about this paint is it's it's exclusive to this car so this is available to order actually as a, a small production run of cars it's been amazing since this project launched, we were just chatting that we've had inquiries from Liverpool to Mexico City, yeah. you know, and that I think of the car itself is fantastic, but to have the honor of a hand in creating something which will ultimately be roaming the world yeah. blows my mind. Yeah. So it's really, really yeah. cool. And, and as you say, it's, it's really unique. It's unique to develop your own paint. It's, it, uh -huh. as you say, the journey is a really long journey. You know, it's a 12 month journey to yes. really develop something unique like so this. Marek as well will help to set some context as we go through the journey of this. A lot of the components, which again, I've learned to not take for granted, like the badge, these are exclusive wheels. They're yep. not available. Yep, um, that's right. Yeah. And again, the whole idea was to very much pick out major components which would tie in the theme of the interior and exterior. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And, and again, it is very much about the, the holistic vision that we had from what did we want on the inside? What did you want on the inside? How were we going to colorize the inside? And how do you bring that outside? And how does it complement the unique green you know how does sure. it complement this color and of course it's a finish on the wheel which is a, a bronzed finish which uh -huh. again is yep. a, an incredible process because obviously the base material for the wheel is aluminium uh -huh. that then has to be colorized underneath the clear coat that goes over the top it has to be tested endlessly etc etc <laughs> so we have developed a unique bronze that sits on the wheel and it is again unique to yourself and and again we carried that color from the inside out as well because when we get onto the inside you'll see those warmer tones over the alcantara without giving too much away of what's yes. on the inside Certainly. but you'll see the stitch in there and you'll see how they work together it's you know it's about the subtle combination of everything but yeah. when you put it all together that's a massive pop this for me really Marek, is where the whole journey started because 
when I initially wanted to spec a DBX, the option of Alcantara was and still actually isn't That's right. available, right? It's not available um, and you have Alcantara seats with the contrast stitch. So the bronze stitch that obviously matches the wings and the mm -hmm. wheel, as we just talked about. So really tying everything together and you see how that contrasts against the, the pure black. But my favorite bit, uh -huh. absolute favorite bit, which you saw initially as a 3D printed part yes. is how we've laser etched these real metal elements uh -huh. that you see the jewelry on the car and on the door handle. So we've, we've laser etched that pattern work in there after colorizing in the satin finish, uh -huh. polished through to, to shiny, to gloss, and then laser etched through as well. So a very complex process to get something which really is a, a beautiful piece of jewelry. So Marek, while I'm gloving up, <laughs> <laughs> to apply our badge. Um, would you be able to sort of help clarify why creating our bespoke badge is such a big deal? The badge itself represents the mark of Aston Martin. So this is 108 years of history. Mm -hmm. um, they're made in the jewellery quarter in Birmingham, as you know, um, by Vortons. Very, very special. Um, and we don't let people change them very often. Okay. We do on special occasions. Uh -huh. Um, and this one kind of harp, harps back to one of the traditions we have of, of actually showing the, the brass tone of the badge. Underneath is actually copper, uh -huh. now, yes. you know, copper which is then coated. Um, and of course, this would be enamel infilled normally. Yes. But this is a very special badge and it goes on a very special car. Um, it's only changed 12 times in our 108 year history. So right. this is... Okay quite a moment and of course putting the badge on yes is really difficult so I'm gonna leave that up to you <laughs> no thanks very much So there we have it. This is absolutely mind-blowing moment. So I'm gonna splice in the CGI render that we've had since day one to the car right now. To see it tangible, real, outside, in the natural sunlight, the Q Division and Aston have done an incredible job. Uh, sadly, today I don't get to drive away in this car. We're gonna take it over to uh, HWM Aston Martin for its official handover. This is more of a sort of uh, ceremonial um, ending where we started putting the badges on with Marek. That was a real dream moment. And uh, just ultimately sort of putting a comma really before the next chapter, which is the first drive of this car and taking it on lots of awesome adventures. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments below what you would like to see from this car. Where should we go on the first drive? We've got handover coming soon with Guy from HWM. And then we're gonna really put this thing through its paces. As always, thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Ciao.